everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bears Let's Play. I'm Kristen and we're here with another game by Eureka Multimedia. This is Zoo Animals. I hope you enjoy. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below sharing your favorite animal, and of course subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Check out the playlist in the description box to see all the other Eureka Multimedia games on this channel. I have social media you can follow, a streaming channel, and a Discord server with the kindest community on the internet. Such a wonderful place to be. All the links are down below if you're interested, but let's learn about animals. Enjoy. Alligator, a member of the reptile family. An alligator is a very large reptile whose ancestors were dinosaurs. It has sharp teeth, rough scaly skin, and a long, powerful tail. The tail swings back and forth and is a strong weapon in a fight. An alligator's eyes and nose are set up high so that they can see and breathe in water. Alligator. Alligator, a member of the reptile family. An alligator is a very large reptile who's Australian magpie, a member of the bird family. The Australian magpie is black and white in colour and can be found in most parts of Australia. Magpies can grow to around 44 centimetres long. The female magpie builds the nest for the babies on her own. Young magpies depend on adults for food for two to three months after they hatch. Australian magpie, camel, a member of the mammal family. Camels can go for long periods of time without drinking. They are commonly used for carrying goods or riding. A camel stores its water in its stomach lining and not in its hump. They can have one or two humps, which are made up of fat and used for food. Camel. Camel. <coughs> Crocodile, a member of the reptile family. Crocodiles are modern descendants of dinosaurs and can grow up to six metres long. They have survived over 100 million years and have been known to eat people. They live in rivers, swamps and lakes and eat whatever meat they can find. They have rough, scaly skin. Crocodile. Crocodile, a mem dingo, a member of the mammal family. Dingoes are descended from dogs. They can grow to around 1.5 metres long with a 35 centimetre tail. There are very few pure breeds of dingo. Dingoes have a diet of mammals, which they can hunt in large packs. Dingo. Dingo, a member of Eastern Water Dragon, a member of the reptile family. These lizards are found in Eastern Australia. The Eastern Water Dragon is a semi-aquatic tree-living lizard. They can grow to around one metre long, including a 50 centimetre tail. 
It has a long, powerful tail and a crest running over its body and tail. Eastern Water Dragon Eastern Water Dragon, a echidna, a member of the monotreme family. The echidna is also known as the short-nosed spiny anteater and is found in Australia. It can have a long and sticky tongue of over 18 centimetres for catching ants and termites. Although they are excellent diggers, they live in hollow logs or amongst roots and rocks. The female lays leathery shelled eggs coated by a sticky mucus. Echidna, a member of the monotreme elephant, a member of the mammal family. An elephant is one of the most magnificent and powerful animals alive. It is second in size only to the giant whale. The African elephant grazes on trees and bushes in the savannah. The trunk of an elephant can hold eight litres of water. Elephant. Elephant, a member of the mammal family. An elephant is one of the most magnificent and <coughs> Emu, a member of the bird family. An emu can run at speeds of up to 48 kilometers an hour. Emus have the ability to swim. They can grow to around two meters tall. An emu is a flightless bird. It does not know how to fly. Emu. Emu, a member of the bird family. Giraffe, a member of the mammal family. Giraffes are the tallest animals on earth. They can grow up to five meters high. They have distinctive patterns of patches on their fur coats. They eat grass, leaves, twigs and fruits. Giraffe. Giraffe, gorilla, a member of the ape family. They are considered to be the smartest non-human animal. They can grow up to two meters tall and do not have a tail. Even though they are large, they are very gentle and live in the forest. They spend most of their time eating and resting. Gorilla, a member gorilla. Gorilla. <coughs> Hippopotamus. A member of the mammal family. Hippopotamuses are the third largest animals after whales and elephants. They can weigh up to 2,700 kilograms and can stay underwater for up to six minutes. They have stubby short legs and a barrel shaped body. Hippopotamus means river horse, and they can eat 40 kilograms of vegetables a day. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus.
Hippopotamus, kangaroo, a member of the marsupial family. The kangaroo is the largest living marsupial. It can weigh up to 70 kilograms and hop up to 40 kilometers per hour. They live in grassy, arid plains. The female carries its baby, which is known as a joey, in her pouch. Kangaroo. A Kangaroo, a member of the marsup kiwi, a member of the bird family. Kiwis are only found in forest areas of New Zealand. They are flightless birds. They are the only known birds with slit-like nostrils on the tips of their bills. Kiwis only come out at night. They are nocturnal. Kiwi. Koala, a member of the marsupial family. The koala only eats eucalyptus leaves and shoots. The baby koala rides on the mother's back after it leaves her pouch. Koalas in general are found only in eastern Australia. They almost always live in trees. Koala, a member Koala, a member of the marsupial family. The koala only eats you kookaburra, a member of the bird family. Kookaburras are known for their noisy, laugh-like call. They are the largest of the kingfisher birds. These birds can grow to around 40 centimetres tall. Kookaburras can eat just about anything. Kookaburra, a member Kookaburra, a member of the bird family. Kookaburras are known for their noisy, laugh-like call. They are the largest of the kingfisher birds. These birds can grow to around 40. Lion, a member of the cat family. The male lion has a big, shaggy mane. They live on the savannas of Africa in groups called prides. A lion eats meat only and is considered the king of the jungle. Females do most of the hunting. Lion. Lion, a member of the cat family. The male lion has a big shaggy mane. They live on the savannas of Africa in groups called... Lyrebird, a member of the bird family. The lyrebird is found only in eastern Australia and Tasmania. The male lyrebird's flamboyant tail is about 55 centimetres long and is used to attract female lyrebirds. Lyrebirds are mainly ground dwellers and rarely fly. They hop and flap about. They search on the ground for insects and larvae, scratching around with their large, strong legs and feet. Lyrebird, monkey, a member of the ape family. 
Monkeys live in the forest amongst the trees and eat leaves and fruit. They depend on trees in the forest for shelter and food. Most monkeys have strong tails which are used for grasping branches. They're intelligent animals. Monkey and Monkey, a member <laughs> New Zealand fur seal, a member of the mammal family. New Zealand fur seals are found throughout New Zealand and in Western and Southern Australia. They have two layers of dark fur to keep them warm in the water. They eat fish, octopus and squid. They can dive deeper than any other fur seals. New Zealand fur New Zealand fur seal orangutan a member of the ape family an orangutan lives alone most of the time and can be found in some asian rainforests their arms are very long in relation to their bodies today they are endangered because most of their forest land is being cleared orangutans have shaggy reddish colored fur Orangutan. Orangutan. <coughs> platypus, a member of the monotreme family. A platypus is a mammal that can swim. They have short, powerful legs with webbed feet. While underwater, they use their leathery bills to find things. While on land, they can fold back their webbing to dig into the ground. Platypus, a member of rhinoceros, a member of the mammal family. A rhinoceros can grow up to 5 metres in length and is generally very heavy. They have existed for 30 million years and are currently on the endangered species list. People hunt rhinos for their horns, which are made of fibres pressed together. Rhinos are nearsighted, have good hearing and have an excellent sense of smell. Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros, a member of the mammal family. Snake, a member of the reptile family. Snakes can glide on the ground, climb trees, and some can even swim. They are found all over the world, except at the very coldest regions. All snakes are hunters, and some of the larger ones can grow up to 10 metres in length. All snakes are deaf, but not all snakes are venomous. Snake, a member of... Snake a member of the reptile family. <coughs> Sulphur-crested cockatoo, a member of the bird family. They have thick hooked beaks and are generally noisy. Parrots are sometimes kept as pets and eat seeds, fruits and nuts. They are affectionate and can learn to repeat words. They range in size from 8 to 90 centimetres. Sulfur crested cockatoo. Takahe, 
a member of the bird family. Takahes are extremely rare birds that are only found in New Zealand. They have a thick red bill and red legs. They eat soft stems of plants and seeds. Takahes were believed to be extinct for over 50 years, but they were rediscovered in 1948. Takahe, a member of the bird family. Tasmanian Devil, a member of the marsupial family. Tasmanian Devils are found only in Tasmania and live for about eight years. They have strong jaws and live under rock piles and tree stumps. They come out at night and sleep during the day. The babies stay for about 20 weeks in their mother's pouch and feed on her milk. Tasmanian Devil. Tasmanian Devil, a tiger, a member of the cat family. When they are born, tigers have pale markings that become orange and black as they get older. Their striping helps them hide in the forest. Tigers can pounce on prey from up to 15 metres away. These magnificent animals can eat up to 12 kilograms of meat a day. Tiger, a member of... Tiger, a member of the cat family. When they are born, tigers have... Wombat, a member of the marsupial family. Wombats are a common forest animal found along Australia's eastern seaboard. Their newborns live in the mother's pouch for about three months. They live in burrows that stretch more than 13 metres long and 2 metres deep. Wombats eat roots and tubers. Wombat. Wombat, a member of the marsupial family. Wombat zebra, a member of the mammal family. A zebra is a wild animal that lives in Africa. It looks like a striped horse and is not ridden by people. These stripes help protect it from predators like lions. The leader of the herd is called a stallion. Zebra. Zebra. Zebra, a member of the mammal family. A zebra is alligator, a member of the reptile family. Who am I? I'm a ground living bird that is around 55 centimeters long. I'm a ground living bird that is around 55 centimetres yeah, long. I follow yeah. regularly used pathways through the forest. I look like a horse except for my colouring. I can have one or two horns. As a pet, I need space and a clean cage. My ancestors were dinosaurs. I'm an intelligent animal. I eat 
fruit, alligator. Read along with me. Hi kids, when was the last time you went to the zoo? The zoo is a home for animals from all over the world. Expert people protect and care for the animals. Many of the zoo animals came from the jungles of South America, savannas of Africa and the outback of Australia. Your activity book will introduce you to some zoo animals in their homeland. Please use your imaginations as we describe the animals, their homes and their ways of life. You can read along with me to learn about the animals and to learn new words. Then after reading the pages, use your crayons and markers and your scissors. Have fun! We'll start with page one. When we finish a page, click onto the arrow to go to the next page. Are you ready? Here we go. Page one. Zoo animals, activity and coloring book. Page 2. Count the animals. How many can you find? Page 3. Rainforest. Rainforests are near the equator. They are special regions of land where the trees are thick and tall. The forests grow in temperatures between 15 and 33 degrees Celsius with 200 centimetres of rain each year. Many animals live in the rainforest. Some, like monkeys, parrots, squirrels and possums, live in the trees. A jungle is a part of the rainforest where sunlight reaches the ground, usually near a lake or river. Animals such as antelope, elephants, tigers and chimpanzees live in the jungle. Page 4. The Savanna. The African grassland is called the Savanna. It is flat land with only a few trees. The savannah is a large area, hundreds of square kilometres. Many, many animals live in this open area. The savannah has a rainy season and a dry season. The living pattern of many animals depends upon the weather. Sometimes lightning causes fire. After a fire, animals often move to areas where they can find food. The savannah is an example of nature's balance. Some animals of the savannah are giraffes, zebras, cheetahs, gazelles and wildebeest. Many amphibians and insects also live on the savannah. Page 5. Animal Outline. Name these jungle animals. Page 6. Parrots. Parrots are colourful birds. They live in tropical regions where the climate is warm. Many people like parrots as pets because they can be taught to mimic speech. Parrots range in size from 8 centimetres to 1 metre. Some varieties are endangered species because the rainforests are being cleared. The most beautiful parrots are the scarlet moorcaw, rainbow lorikeet and the yellow-headed amazon. These parrots are very unusual. Other parrots are also unusual. The owl parrot in New Zealand cannot fly. It has green feathers and a face like an owl. The kia in New Zealand likes people. It begs for food. Cockatoos in Australia are white with tufts of feathers on their heads. Hanging parrots hang upside down like bats when they sleep. Lorikeets eat nectar and pollen from flowers. Page 7. Look across, down and diagonally to find animals. Elephant, zebra, 
hippo, tiger, parrot, monkey, baboon, lion, snake, giraffe. Page 8. Elephants. Elephants are descended from proboscideans. Their ancestors lived 45 million years ago. However, elephants that live now are becoming fewer and fewer. Soon there may be no elephants left on Earth. There are only two groups of elephants, African, Loxodonta, and Asian, Elephus maximus. Male elephants are bulls, females are cows. Elephants continue to grow as long as they live. The larger the elephant, the older the elephant. However, few elephants die of old age. Each elephant has a unique crease pattern on the lower part of its leg. These can help identify an elephant just as our fingerprints can identify us. Elephants have long trunks. They use their trunks, proboscis, for drinking, lifting and washing themselves. The trunk can hold eight litres of water. Elephants have very sensitive skin. They need frequent showers and mud baths. Egret birds help elephants by riding on their backs and pecking ticks and insects to eat. When two animals help each other, it's called symbiosis. Page 9. How many words can you make from elephant? Page 10. Monkeys. There are about 200 kinds of monkeys. Most of them live in tropical areas. There are two major groups. Old world monkeys live in Africa and Asia. New world monkeys live in Central America and South America. Because most of the old world monkeys live in the rainforest, they have adapted to living in trees. Some monkeys live in the trees their whole lives. A few species live on the savannas, grasslands, of Africa and Asia. Monkeys live in groups. Most monkeys will eat anything, but some monkeys are plant eaters. Old world monkeys have 32 teeth, like people. New world monkeys have widespread nostrils and 36 teeth. New world monkeys can grasp with their tails. Old world monkeys cannot grasp with their tails. All monkeys have long arms and legs. They can grasp branches as they run, climb and jump among trees. Their tails help keep balance and slow down. Monkeys are social animals. Baboons like to groom each other. This is a very friendly way to act. Page 11. Matching. Draw lines between the matching monkeys. Page 12. Lion. Lions are mammals in the order Carnivora. They are part of the cat family. The lion is called king of the jungle. They live away from people in jungles or grasslands at the edge of jungles. This is where they can hunt for their food. Lions eat other animals. It is the female lioness that does most of the hunting and killing for food. They like to kill large animals so they do not need to go hunting as often. When the lioness kills an animal, she drags it back to the pride. A pride is a group of lions. Male lions protect their territory and take care of the young. Lions are endangered because more and more land is being cleared. People are using more land for their homes and crops. Lions kill cattle and domestic animals, like dogs, so the farmers hunt the lions. In Africa, many countries have set land aside as a reserve so that lions and other wild animals can live in their natural areas. Page 13. A group of lions is a pride. Page 14. Hippopotamuses. The word hippopotamus means river horse. Hippopotamuses weigh about 2,700 kilograms. They are much bigger than horses. They are shaped more like pigs with round barrel-shaped bodies. 
The two kinds of hippopotamuses are the pygmy hippopotamus and the river hippopotamus. The pygmy hippopotamuses are rare. They are small versions of the river hippos. Pygmy hippos are about 150 kilograms and only 75 centimetres high. Even though they are endangered, they are shot for their meat. 70% of the animal can be eaten. Also, farmers shoot them because they trample and eat crops. River hippos like to stay near the water. They have webbed toes to help them swim. They can close their ears and nose when they go underwater. They usually swim with their ears above water so they can see and breathe. Baby hippos are called calves. They weigh about 45 kilograms when they are born. A baby hippo soon learns to nurse on its mother's milk while underwater. It also likes to sun on its mother's back while she floats in the water. What a life! Page 15. Mixed up animals. Unscramble the names of these animals. Page 16. Bats. Bats are not birds. Although they can fly, they are warm-blooded mammals. Bats live in attics, barns, caves and other dark shelters. You do not see them very often because they rest upside down in the daytime and wake up at night. They are nocturnal. Do you know that bats have fingers and toes? Their hands are covered with a web wing. The wing goes down along the leg to the toes. These wings make it possible to fly. Rare New Zealand short-tailed bats have strong legs so that they can move about easily on the ground and in the trees. Here are some other kinds of bats. Flying foxes eat fruit and flowers. Vampire bats feed on about one teaspoon of blood a day, but not human. Brown bats live entirely in caves. Free-tailed bats have extended tails. Hoary bats. White hair covers their brown fur. Red bats. The male is bright red. Page 17. Amazing animals. Draw a line from start to finish without crossing any lines. Page 18. Frogs. Frogs are amphibians. That means they can live on land or in water. The first frogs were on Earth about 180 million years ago. Now there are about 3,800 kinds of frogs. People used to believe that frogs fell from heaven when it rained. Now we know that they come from eggs. After the eggs hatch, they become tadpoles before they lose their tails and become adult frogs. They love to come out of their homes in the rain. Loud frogs are always males. Females have only a weak voice or no voice at all. The males have a vocal sac in the throat or two vocal sacs, one on each side of the head. When the frog forces air up from its lungs and through the vocal sac, it makes a noise. Frogs help us by eating annoying mosquitoes, flies and other insects. Also, people eat the legs of bullfrogs, green frogs and leopard frogs. People are a frog's nightmare. In addition to food, frogs are used for medical research and education. Page 19. Important message. Use the chart below to read this amazing fact. Page 20. Giraffes. What do you already know about giraffes? Almost everyone can recognize this animal with the long, long neck. Some giraffes are about five meters high. That makes them about three times as tall as a grown man. In fact, the giraffe is the tallest animal on earth. Its front legs are two meters long. Giraffes eat like cows. They eat plants and then the food returns from the stomach to the mouth for a second chewing. Giraffes chew their cuds. This system lets them go without eating or drinking for long periods of time. When they do want to drink, 
They must spread their front legs and work their way down to the level of the water. Most people think that giraffes do not make sounds. That's not true. Actually, giraffes can make soft sounds, but for some reason, they very seldom make their noises. Page 21. Koalas. Koalas are one of the most liked animals in the world. They are found only in the eastern part of Australia and always live in trees. In fact, when a koala is on the ground, it is almost certainly moving from one tree to another. They have woolly fur and large ears and only eat eucalyptus leaves. Koalas sleep in a fork of a tree for most of the day and then move about and feed at night. Koalas are marsupials which are commonly known for carrying their young in a pouch. Baby koalas live in their mother's pouch for around five to six months. After they are old enough, they begin to ride on their mother's back. Koalas have special hands to help them grip the branches a lot better. The first two fingers are opposed to the other three, and this allows them to wrap their hands around the branch tightly. Page 22. Wombats. Wombats are only found on the eastern seaboard of Australia, often in the forest-covered mountainous areas. During the winter in cold areas, the wombat spends the daytime in a burrow. He emerges at night to feed mainly on native grasses. However, they also eat the roots of shrubs and trees. Wombats are more closely related to the koala than any other living marsupial. They have powerful bodies and coarse, thick fur. Because they are marsupials, they carry their babies in a pouch for about three months. The next 11 months are spent following its mother around. They can grow to around one meter long and weigh up to 40 kilograms. Page 23. New Zealand fur seals. New Zealand fur seals are found throughout New Zealand and in Western and Southern Australia. They have whiskers and a pointy nose. They also have two layers of dark fur to keep them warm. Their fur looks almost black when it is wet. Adult males can weigh up to 160 kilograms and an adult female can weigh up to 40 kilograms. Baby seals are called pups and a mature female will usually have one pup each year. New Zealand fur seals eat squid, octopus and fish which they have to dive for. They can dive deeper and stay underwater longer than any other fur seals. Page 24. Kiwis. Kiwis are flightless birds that are only found in the forest areas of New Zealand. There are four species of kiwis. Brown kiwi, little spotted kiwi, great spotted kiwi and tokoika. The kiwi only comes out at night they are nocturnal. It has a long flexible bill to dig out and eat worms, insects and berries. The kiwi does not have a tail and it is the only known bird with slit-like nostrils on the tip of its bill. They can travel very fast and can be vicious when they are not in a good mood. Page 25, Tuckerhays. The Tuckahay is an extremely rare bird that is only found in New Zealand. For over 50 years, ornithologists, people who study birds, believed that the Tuckahays were extinct, but in 1948 they were rediscovered in the south of New Zealand. Tuckahays have a thick red bill, red feet and green and blue feathers. They eat seeds and soft stems of plants and make grass nests lined with leaves on the ground. Page 26. Kookaburras. The kookaburra is the largest of the kingfishers and is renowned for its noisy, laugh-like call. Usually when one bird starts calling, all the others nearby will join in, particularly at dawn or at dusk. These birds can eat just about anything including insects, crabs, small reptiles, mammals and other birds. Kookaburras live in the woodlands and open forests 
and do not need free water to exist as long as the climate suits them. Their nest is usually a large cavity that is big enough to contain an adult. This can just be a hole in a tree or such things like termite mounds. The female usually lays between one and four eggs and the incubation period lasts 24 days. After that, the fledglings are fed by their parents for a further 8 to 13 weeks. When the young birds reach maturity, most stay to help defend the boundaries and protect other young fledglings. Page 27. Emus. Emus are large flightless birds and wander around most parts of Australia. They can run at speeds of up to 48 kilometres an hour and can stand up to two metres high. Emus feed on all sorts of vegetation ranging from leaves, grasses and fruits to flowers of native plants. During winter they feed mainly on herbs and also eat insects when they are available. Female emus lay between 5 to 20 eggs and then wander off leaving the male to incubate the eggs for 8 weeks. After hatching the male emu leads the chicks around and broods them beneath his feathers at night. Page 28. Platypus. The platypus is probably the most uniquely Australian mammal. Outside of zoos, this animal is rarely seen close at hand. The platypus has the ability to swim, and when it does, it uses its leathery bill to guide it through the water. They have webbed forefeet and hind feet. The webbing of the rear feet is usually folded back against the tail, except when used in steering or braking. The platypus is found in eastern Australia, in all climates from the high plateaus to the tropical rainforest lowlands, where their main food is crustaceans. The female lays eggs, usually two at a time, and these eggs hatch after one to two weeks. Page 29. Dot to dot. Join the dots in order, from one to two, then two to three, and so on. When you have finished, see what you have drawn. Page 30. Echidnas. Echidnas have compact round bodies and a small mouth at the end of their snouts, through which their long tongues can be extended 15 to 18 centimetres beyond their snouts. The tongue is coated with sticky saliva so any insect it touches becomes trapped. They have five digits, all with strong claws, on each foot. Echidnas are excellent diggers and can rapidly dig themselves into the ground if they are in danger. They can also curl up their bodies with the spikes exposed to make predators think twice about eating them. Baby echidnas are carried by their mothers until they develop their own spikes, which is about three weeks after birth. They feed mainly on ants and termites and can be found over all parts of Australia, living mainly in the forests and grasslands. Page 31. Finger puppets. Adult supervision required. Material. Felt, needle and thread, fabric paint. How to do it. Trace the pattern below. Using the pattern, cut the pieces from felt. Paint the felt pieces. Sew the cone-shaped body to fit the index finger. Stuff the face. Assemble the pieces to make a giraffe and an elephant. Page 32. Zoo Animals Answer Page.
Well guys, that wraps up this video for Eureka's Zoo Animals. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below sharing your thoughts, and of course subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Remember, you are special and loved. You are never alone. You're always welcome to come back and hang out anytime. Until the next video, God bless. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye, everyone.